Hello there, YouTube. And I apologize for the wind. We're going through a storm type of thing that only happens two to four times every 100 years on the West Coast. This is not why I'm here to talk to you. And again, I apologize for the wind. Look at that. The 2021 BMW R18. And uh, right now there's two versions of it. There's a standard, and then there's what they refer to as a first edition. This is the first edition. But I think this one's going to a rep, from what I understand. Look at that mammoth cylinders hanging off the side of this thing. Is that thing cool or what? Look at that bad boy. Holy moly. Push rods, no water cooling. It's air oil cooled. There's a big old, actually it looks like the same oil cooler that Harley uses. <laughs> Everything's all digital, hydraulic clutch. Uh, not digital, but uh, LED. And this one has reverse. I don't know if they all have reverse or if that's just something to do with the first edition. She is beautiful. I mean, absolutely impeccable in every way. Exposed drive shaft. I'm sure you guys have been reading up on all this stuff. Stunning, absolutely stunning. And right there is your forward and reverse. Get a better shot of it there. Well, let's take this thing for a ride. Ah, oh, dang. Wow. Well, how about this? I'm out riding her. <laughs> Doing a little thing for the for the daily vlog as well so if you guys uh don't watch that sneak over there i'm kind of doing a, a twofer today man i am so impressed I, I just really 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 impressed the coolest thing to me is the uh uh rock mode they call it it's really cool there's a rain a roll and a rock mode rain is you know super super safe rock is uh it even shakes at idle magical absolutely magical that bmw put that in here heck yeah make this thing roll and the wind out here is great i've seen some a little place i like to go my test rides uh some trees got knocked down first i thought oh no somebody's cutting the trees down nope they got wind knocked <laughs> he must have been spinning his wheels there and he divoted his uh his street he's got a very uh kind of a mid peg kind of like the dinas i guess the soft tails have them as well sportsters definite mid pack mid peg feeling of a of a, a lot of the harleys <laughs> it's just got just incredible grunt torque. You know the funny thing is the suspension is a little uh, is a little stiff. It kind of reminds me of Sportsters and stuff too. It's just oh dude, it's so full of attitude and that torquey motor. It's brand new, and I think this is going to a uh, our BMW rep. So. Uh, yeah, you definitely don't want to upset that dude. He can make my life a little, little miserable. <laughs> oh, look at this. They repaid this. I came through here on a spider the other day, and she was... Ooh, I didn't smell that, that fresh tar, that black top. I can't go very far. This is just a test ride. Probably going farther than I should anyway. <laughs> what a monster. <laughs> just that grunt. 
that sound. Ooh. She sounds so good. <laughs> I love when I desell. It's, it's got like this tranny wine that's just amazing sounding. The build quality though. You know, I've been cleaning it, like I said on a daily vlog. I, I spent more time cleaning this thing than I did uh, uh, building it. Man, this thing was just covered in fingerprints. It's like every person in the factory that had something to deal, do with this thing, I think all touched it at the end of the line before it got boxed up and sent to America, you know? <laughs> I love writing the dash. The whole time you're riding, you look down at the bottom of the dash and it says Berlin built. That's some proud Germans right there. It says it on top of the... Uh, Oh, I guess just on the clutch side. I thought it said, oh yeah, it says it up there. And then you still have your, your dot four warning and whatnot. It just feels like a toy, but a monster at the same time. It's just incredible. Let's give you a quick little, little looky-loo here. Freak some people out. What's that guy doing on that motorcycle? That needs to it says no parking fire zone. Yeah, I think I really did freak somebody out. Look at that thing shake in that rock mode. Can you see it? Oh, dude, that is so nice. Oh, get that thing. Holy moly. I know I already gave you a walk around. I'll do this without the sun glare and a little less wind it's got a side stand that locks like a Harley look it's it's just barely straight on but it folds up and goes into a lock BMW hired some uh, some Harley folks and uh, I think there was some influence here does that bother me that that happened on a BMW no I like a bike that just looks crazy simple and just has a personality like no other. I have never ridden a BMW that has that kind of a personality to it. They had a target in mind with this thing and it's people like me and I'm sure quite a few of you as well. You like a motorcycle that you walk away and go, I felt like I rode a real motorcycle. Look at it, spoke wheels. You inner tubes in there. Spoke wheels with inner tubes. That's a real motorcycle. Everything's getting too fluffy and too friendly. You need something that's cool. I told you about the reverse. That that is a trip, the reverse. So it's mechanically feels like it's shifting something in the transmission. But I don't know if they're doing it because of how everybody else does it. But it's a... Uh, oh, that's how I got that dirt on there a while ago. That side stand. Yeah, see it flipped dirt on the chrome I noticed earlier. Because I dipped the side stand in dirt. But, uh... I, don't, I had a weird time getting it to go into reverse. So what I did... And I haven't read the manual, so you guys are probably going to laugh at me. Because this is probably the way you're supposed to do it. Who knows? So, I, I hear it clicking into reverse. So, the clutch, the clutch, it's like a Suzuki. The clutch has to be in all the time, or every time you start it. And it's probably related to that reverse. And then, uh, you fire it up. And you'll see the reverse is flashing. And then, just like most bikes, you, uh... Oh, the clutch has to be out for that. You got reverse. So let's see if it flips out just as easy. Oh, okay. So I'm in neutral first, and you drive away. Now I wouldn't think, I don't know what the weight of this thing is, nor do I care. But I wouldn't think it'd be 
something heavy enough that would require reverse but uh that's what they did i don't know if that is a special option that's part of the two grand extra price for this uh what they refer to as the first edition r18 god i just love that low rpm big torque boom, boom, boom off the light that is incredible sorry i've got my cheap uh i think it's called a ls2 helmet that uh it's literally got the loudest shield open and closed doesn't seal very well i've ridden bikes home from work and it is so noisy and uh, I haven't, you know, because I wear that shoey all the time, I haven't wore earplugs on a motorcycle in a long, long time. I need to get me a good set and uh, keep them in my uh, backpack so that, yeah, you drive down the freeway all the way north to, to where I live. Yeah, your head's buzzing by the time you get back. I like the uh, fork skirts on there, which is very American Cruiser looking really nice I've seen some of the versions that like that people have built already and uh, they've taken them off or shortened them on some cases it look like oh you guys still there I was in my little dream world here right along on this R18 you know, I figured this thing would probably be cool. I had no idea it would be this cool. One thing that's kind of surprising me, and I don't know how it's doing it. Or I'm getting no heat off of this thing. I mean, I sense, you know, there's something warm down. I mean, you feel that on any motorcycle you're riding. But you think them big old cylinders would just be, especially the one on the right, because it's farther back. You think that thing would be smoking my leg and foot as well? I mean, not at a whoa. I was assuming that boy was gonna take himself a right, and he did not. Well, thank you guys very, very, very much for coming on a rip on this incredible motorcycle. Thanks now. We'll talk at you later.